Hey there, how's it going? Welcome to Loop Learnings, and this is video number one of the new series. So let's get started and let's see what we are going to do. But before I do that, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So as you know, I've been creating polls. You guys have been given uh, your feedback. What system should we uh, make next? And thank you for participating in those uh, discussions and polls. Um, I know there was a huge demand of school management system and then pharmacy management system. Um, we, as I said in previous video, we will make both of them, uh, but we have to choose first what we will make and um, wait for it. I'm going to show you what exactly we are going to start working on. And if this is something that you were not expecting that we will make first, uh, please don't be discouraged. Don't be disappointed for sure. We will work on your uh, system as well, whatever you like to build. But I would suggest that uh, you continue watching these uh, videos as well. Uh, so you understand the concepts because in these videos, I'm going to uh, change my approach a little bit uh, when it comes to uh, demonstrating the best practices. So what we are making in this series well we are making school management system a lot of people have given words and came in my comment box of different videos and said uh, please make a school management system uh, there are two reasons uh, that i have chosen this first one is of course a lot of people as i said have given the words to school management system and the other reason is i kind of know what exactly needs to be built in school management system for pharmacy management system honestly I'm a little confused because uh, if, if some of you guys will tell me in the comments uh, of this video, what exactly are the features in pharmacy management system? Is it a clinic management system where the patient records are being maintained and their visits information, etc., or is it only the pharmacy where the medicine is available? Uh, so uh, do let me know in the comments below for sure that system is next and that is coming up uh, for sure. Uh, so please, if you were expecting that, we will start with the pharmacy management system. Please don't be disappointed. Don't be discouraged. We will definitely make that. Now, let me walk you through what features we are going to build in school management system. So if we talk about first, of course, students database, students management. So we'll make students database. We will uh, maintain the parents uh, database. Let me get the pointer and we will get the uh, admission information as well. OK, so that's as part of students management we will uh, create. Of course, I'm giving you the overview, but underneath of these each uh, subheading, there will be different tables in the database that we will be creating. Then we will have staff management, we'll have staff database, uh, we'll have, uh, you know, records of what they are authorized to teach. Of course, not every staff member or teacher will be um, teaching everything. So they have certain subjects that they will be teaching and then the class allocation. So for what class from which class to which class they are uh, authorized to teach. So we will have that built in into the database so we can uh, do the rec uh, recording of the activities. Next, we will build the attendance management. So when it comes to attendance, we are, we are looking at attendance management for the students and attendance management for the employees. And as part of it, we will have leave management built into this application. Then next feature is class management. Of course, we will look at uh, the uh, classes. We will create the database in which we can keep the record of what classes uh, that this institute will um, will will actually uh, have, what sections for each class, and then facility allocation, which means the classroom itself or the uh, lab or laboratory or computer lab, etc. So. All of that will be part of uh, this class management uh, module. The next feature we are going to build is subject management. So for example, there are different types of subjects and different subjects. And for each subject, there are some categories. So we will have those built in into, into the application. So those can be assigned to the right student and right class uh, and right section as well. So that those relationships will be created as part of it. 
then next database we have uh, or the next feature we have is the fee management of course this is a very important aspect of school management system where we will have uh, you know different type of fee uh, we'll have fee structure fee collection and if there is any balance for a particular student that also we will build in into fee balance uh, database so this is going to be exciting uh, and and honestly i have i have not built this before so i'm looking forward to it myself as well so this is going to be exciting i'm looking forward to how we are going to build these into the database and modules okay so that was fee management and that next feature we will have is about the exams so of course exams or assessments or uh, these are also very very important uh, features uh, in a school management system so we'll have exam types exam structure we'll have results uh, as well that we will record we'll be able to record and this is these are the features when it comes to the features these were the features that we are going to build what technology we are going to use to build this uh, all these features of course we will, we will be using microsoft access some people you know came in the comments below and said hey you should build um, everything on php or or uh, visual studio or sql server for sure i i would love to build this but i i would have to be honest here that i'm not really good at those technology php i'm not at all good at it i know it, this is something web web version and some people say microsoft access is old technology it is not microsoft access is very powerful platform on which you know small and medium um, applications can be built and a lot of people can use if the applications can be built in a correct manner having said that in the pharmacy management system what i'm going to do which is coming up next for sure i'm going to actually use sql server as a backend so for the next series for pharmacy management system i will repeat i will use sql server as a backend and i will use microsoft access as a front end so basically we'll be linking the data from the sql server to microsoft access so that is for the next series which is going to be pharmacy management system so if you are interested in that for sure uh, please do make sure that you uh, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload videos now having said that in uh, maybe in coming few weeks i will start making some videos about sql server for us to get on to the speed for us to learn what is sql server how do we create uh, database schema and all those things in sql server so please make sure that you subscribe right so i might start making some videos around sql server standalone videos how to make database in that okay next a disclaimer for sure i have been saying this in my videos i will repeat it again i'm not an expert in any of this right the purpose of these videos is to share my knowledge about the business logics and how to build those logics in using the technology such as microsoft access while making the application i if you think that i have done any mistake or might i might have missed something i might have done incorrectly please do let me know in the comments below always and i'm also learning at the same time when i'm making videos i can tell you I'm being very honest, not everything I'm aware of. The methods that I will be demonstrating are purely my own practices. They may not be matching with the standard industry practices, but I share them because that's the way those methods work for me. And that's why I shared them. So if those methods work for you, great, awesome. Uh, if not, you can use this knowledge and make your own methods of, of uh, creating the application that's the sole purpose of making these videos okay so i'm not an expert some people come in my comments below and they think that i'm a very expert person and they tell me different things and i tell them look i'm not expert i'm just sharing whatever knowledge i have okay all right so last but not the least thank you very much for your support you have been amazing audience you have been amazing in supporting these channels and i really really appreciate that uh for for making this a little success i would say it's not a huge or blockbuster channel for sure but for me i was not even expecting to reach 2000 subscribers so i've reached more than 2000 subscribers because of you uh, just keep supporting subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notification every single time whenever i upload a video that's it from me thank you very much and i will see you in the next one